Imagine a particle that always moves faster than light. This is the realm of the tachyon, a hypothetical particle that challenges our understanding of physics. Tachyons exist in a realm beyond the light barrier, forever out of reach for particles like electrons and protons. Their existence is still theoretical, yet the concept of tachyons offers a fascinating glimpse into the potential workings of our universe. In the familiar four-dimensional space-time, we perceive three spatial dimensions and one dimension of time. Tachyons, however, operate differently. Their mass is imaginary, a concept difficult to grasp but essential to their superluminal nature. This imaginary mass allows tachyons to interact with our universe in ways we are only beginning to explore. One of the most intriguing aspects of tachyons is their potential role in gravity. Jonathan Barlow G's tachyon theory proposes that these particles could be the elusive force carriers of gravity, mediating this fundamental force across vast cosmic distances. To understand this, we must venture beyond the familiar and into the realm of hyperspace. Hyperspace, often relegated to science fiction, might be more real than we think. In physics, it is conceived as a higher dimensional space existing beyond our four-dimensional space-time. This hyperspace is theorized to be teeming with energy known as zero-point energy, or ZPE. ZPE is the lowest possible energy state of a quantum mechanical system, a constant hum of energy permeating the fabric of the universe. G's tachyon theory posits that hyperspace filled with ZPE acts as a medium for tachyons. Imagine a vast ocean of energy where tachyons, instead of swimming, are surfing the waves of ZPE. This ocean extends beyond our universe, providing a pathway for tachyons to travel. It also forms a cosmic tapestry connecting all points in space time. The tachyons constantly interacting with the ZPE form a ubiquitous tachyon field. This field permeates everything, influencing the very fabric of space time. It is through this field that tachyons are proposed to exert their influence on matter, giving rise to the force we experience as gravity. The concept of tachyons as mediators of gravity presents a fascinating paradox. Tachyons, due to their superluminal nature, are theorized to exert a repulsive force. This is a consequence of their interaction with the Higgs field, which governs mass in the universe. However, gravity as we experience it is an attractive force. How can a repulsive force manifest as attraction? The answer may lie in the nature of time and our perception of it. From our perspective, tachyons moving faster than light would appear to be traveling backward in time. This reversal of time also reverses our perception of their influence. The repulsive force, viewed in reverse time, appears as an attractive force. Imagine two objects in space. Tachyons constantly interacting with these objects exert their repulsive force. However, because of their superluminal speed, we perceive this repulsion in reverse. The objects appear to be drawn towards each other mimicking the effects of gravitational attraction. To, to truly comprehend the speed of tachyons, let's picture a race across the cosmos. On the starting line, we have a photon, a particle of light, and a tachyon. The finish line, a distant star system light years away. The race begins, and instantly the photon is traveling at the speed of light. It traverses vast distances, its speed a cosmic constant. However, for the tachyon, the concept of speed is different. It doesn't accelerate to the speed of light. It's always moving faster. In the blink of an eye, the tachyon reaches the finish line, the distant star system. The photon, bound by the speed of light, is still on its journey. This illustrates the fundamental difference between tachyons and particles like photons. Tachyons exist in a realm where the speed of light is not a limit, but a starting point.